Hey, what's up guys? This is Spanglish Plays and welcome to the final episode of this season with Arsenal. And as you know, this episode is the biggest one yet, not only because it's the last one, but because we are going to be fighting against Liverpool for that top spot, the Premier League title, and really our only chance of silverware this season. But of course, before that huge match, we have one against Everton, so let's get straight into that. And of course, there is the possibility that Liverpool loses, which means that we could even win the league in this match. I don't think Liverpool will lose, but let's just see what happens. Anything can happen in football. So this is going to be our lineup against Everton. And not many changes really, only a couple in the centre. Pepe's on bad form unfortunately, so Ozil will be taking his place and pushing up a little bit with uh, Tielemans coming into that central midfield role. So we kick off at home against Everton. Of course, remember, we are playing with manual shooting. Hopefully that won't mess us up today. Now, as you can see, Everton have gone straight into defensive mode. We're going to try and get into the box. Uh, we're going to get it back there. Wasn't the best cross. Well defended, but look how many plays they've got in the back. Uh, give it to Ozil. Shoot from there. Just over. Nice pass. Out to Obama Yang. That's it, I just got it. Back to Aubameyang. Tries the trick, that's going to be a foul. Yep, yeah, free kick. Nicely played by Aubameyang. Now, who is going to take this? Well, Ozil scored a free kick in the last episode, so we're going to let him take it again. And that was terrible. Well, you know what, at least we got a corner out of this. Let's see if someone can get on the end of it here. Rogani almost... Oh, half time. What a terrible first half. That was that was just so boring. So bo hardly anything was going on in this half. And as you can see, not many shots at all. They did have more possession. But um, yeah, th there's a bit of a problem here. And that is that I thought by changing the difficulty to top player, we had solved the problem of teams defending and passing around the back. But this match has really, really made me doubt that. I mean, Everton have done exactly that. Everyone at the back and just passing from side to side. And I just really hope this was a one-off. But anyway, let's see how it goes in the second half. Hopefully they open up a bit. Oh, lovely ball into Bellerin. First time pass. Bellerin make that run again. Make that run. Into Alba. Oh, couldn't get his head onto it. If only he'd just smacked it to the side a bit. Guys, I'm so annoyed right now. Um, nothing has been going on this match. And I've wanted to make a few substitutions to change the game up. But it is the 88th minute and the ball hasn't gone out in practically the whole last part of the second half. So that just means that our fullbacks have got no stamina left. And I'm going to have to change both of them. And the only other change I can make is maybe up front. Because Ozil hasn't really been doing anything. But it kind of messes my game plan up a little bit. Uh, just so frustrating. They, again, they're just passing. Then they've got no interest in pushing forward and just passing it around. And it's basically like they're trying to hand the title over to their rivals, Liverpool. But anyway, let's see if we can make some kind of impact in the last two minutes that we've got left. <laughs> of course, nothing was going to happen in the last two minutes. Full time. Oh, man. I, you know what? I don't mind ever turning in real life, but oh, I hate you now. I hate you so much. No, the, the stats say it all, basically. Yeah, they again, they had more possession. Shots, look at that. Nothing. Nothing has happened in this second half. And passes, they've just completely dominated us. In. And you know what? Instead of just being frustrated, I'm going to imagine that the game has done this on purpose to make the final match against Liverpool more exciting. Let's just assume that this, the game has done that for the purpose of the story, okay? So, of course, with that draw, um, and obviously Liverpool winning, we are only one point ahead of them. So, all we need out of this last match is a win or a draw, because I think even if we draw, uh, I really doubt Tottenham are going to win by a difference of six or more goals. I just don't see that happening. So, yeah, win or draw. That's all we need. Obviously, we want to win. We want to win the last match of the season to win the league. But, yeah, if we lose this, we could even finish third. 
from first to third that would be a disappointment but no we have to have a positive mentality we are gonna go for the win so this is it guys the final match against Liverpool and this is the lineup we're going to be playing with today. Only one change, which is Holding, who's on excellent form, will be coming in. But really, out of all of this, I'm just happy Pepe is back in the team because I personally felt like we really, really missed him in the centre against Everton. So, yeah, let's do this. So, here we go. Final match of the season to win the Premier League. Arsenal versus Liverpool. Let's do this. That's an actually got it down the wing. Takes a touch. That's going to be a foul. But we're going to get it back. Pepe's going to carry on playing. Surely that's another foul. Ref, come on. Oh, no. Firmino's on attack here. Get him off. Oh. I going to say keep him out. And he did. Holding. Well done. He came to save us. Right, it looks like uh, they're going to want to take his short. Come on, Rugani. No, Rugani. Out. Well done. Well done. Let's hit him on the counter. Aubameyang. Pepe, make that run. Go on, Pepe. Van Dijk read that so well. He's such a good defender. He's always got it down the right side here. Give someone to give it to. Lacazette, where are you going? Where are you going, Lacazette? That oh, doesn't matter. Cross me the right. Aubameyang! Oh, I thought that was in. He's on the ball here. Nice ball to Pepe. Come on, Pepe. Come on, Pepe. No! Oh, held back. Held back. And no, Aubameyang couldn't get to the ball there. What an opportunity. Aubameyang's on it here. Aubameyang's got it here. Through to Pepe. Double tap into the box. Oh, come on. Wasn't the best ball, unfortunately. Come on, Bellerin. Down this right wing. Takes a touch. Into the box. Aubameyang with a head. Ah, oh, very well defended. Blocked that header. Oh, well done, Ozil. Through to Lacazette. Oh, I don't trust him on manual shooting. Yes! Yes! Ah, oh, very well, very, very well played by Ozil there, who stole the ball in the middle of the park and gave us free reign to just push up and attack their defence. We outnumbered them on the break there. Look at that tackle. And Lacazette, unmarked by Van Dijk. I think that's probably the only mistake he's made today because he has been excellent all game. But we took advantage of it. Lacazette took advantage of it. And I was really, really worried I was going to mess up that shot with manual shooting, of course, still. But he blasted that into the corner. Gave Onana no chance. 1-0. Okay, that's it. Half time. Half time. We've been playing really, really well. Uh, I was worried at the beginning because Liverpool were pressuring us so, so much. And they were just on top of us constantly. But as the half went on, we grew into the game. Uh, as you can see, they have got more possession. I kind of expected that. Um, chances, not so many clear-cut chances, but we did have a few opportunities that were blocked off. Uh, some were intercepted. But in general, yeah, I don't think the stats reflect how the game really, really went on. Yeah, so at the moment, I'm finding it difficult, but um, I think we can maintain this. We have to watch out because they are going to go all-out attack in the second half, of course. Chip through to Pepe. Go on, Aubameyang. Yes, yes. Chip it! Chip it! Oh! No! Oh, the aiming was just off. Oh, no. Liverpool in the attack here. One now. Um, was that saved by Leno? Did he save that? Let's watch that again. I couldn't clear it for the life of me here. Oh, no, it wasn't. Bad shot. Go on, Bellerin. Pushing really far up, so we're going to try to take advantage of this. Into Pepe, into Aubameyang, back into Pepe. First time shot. No, why didn't you shoot with your right? Shoot with your left. That was perfect. Let's see if we can do something from here. Maybe a little cheeky pass into Ozil. Yeah. To Pepe. <laughs> no one to give it to. Aubameyang. To Laka. Oh, straight out on Nana. Good save. Can we get it back? No, I think they're going to clear it. Oh, we've got it back somehow. Pepe takes a shot again with his right. Why is he insisting on shooting with his right? All right, guys. The last minute. Colasinac <laughs> is not interested in taking the ball. 
Just wasting time here. And the ref played on. Okay, that was a bad deci referee decision, but it doesn't matter. We've won the game. We have won the Premier League. Yes, get in there. I, after much, much hard work this season, we have actually done it. We've won the league. I remember, was it maybe when we were halfway through, we were behind Man City and Liverpool. I didn't think there was any chance that we were going to win this. And of course, we got knocked out of the FA Cup and we got knocked out of the Champions League. But through fight and determination, we have won some silverware. As you can see there, Liverpool didn't really do much the second half. We were all of them. We could have killed the game off. We had a few chances to kill the game off. We didn't, but we still won. So after all that, this is how the Premier League has ended. We have finished first with 88 points. Not bad. And the surprising thing is that Liverpool, who were battling against us for that first place, have ended up coming in fourth. I'm so sorry, Liverpool. You didn't deserve to come fourth, but I had to win that game. So that is the standing. Uh, Arsenal first, Tottenham second, Manchester City third, Liverpool fourth. And let's check down at the bottom who got relegated. Burnley, Watford and Sheffield. Um, sorry if there are any Burnley fans watching, but uh, I'm not the, the biggest fan. No offence. But that's how the league has ended. Now, uh, let's see who has ended up as top goal scorer. Uh, but before that, this is the team of the season filled with stars of the top teams. And we've only had two players make it into this team of the season, which have been Aubameyang, well-deserved, and surprisingly, Shaka. I know a lot of uh, people are not the biggest fans of him, but uh, in game, in this game, he is an incredible player. And really, in real life, he has been playing much, much better now. So yeah, I guess you can say he deserved it. So these are the individual titles of the Premier League. Now, unfortunately, Aubameyang did not get top goal scorer. Harry Kane won that. But he has got player of the season. And the best manager award goes to me. Well, guys, that is it for this episode and this season. So that leaves us with a little bit of a dilemma. What do we do next? Well, I'm going to let you guys have a say in this. Um, we have a few possibilities. We can first continue with Arsenal, maybe play another season, try to win the FA Cup and the Champions League. Um, the second option would be to change and do a Master League with a different team. So we can choose a mid-table team. Um, and it doesn't even have to be in the Premier League, it can be in another league. Or even start with a team in the second division. So yeah, we do have different options. So please make sure to leave a comment down below with what you would like to see next. But before we end this video, I just want to say thank you so, so much for all of your support. Uh, obviously, there was a big break um, before I started this series where I wasn't uploading much. But uh, since I've come back... You guys have been showing your support in all kinds of ways with your likes, with your comments. So I just want to let you know that I deeply, deeply appreciate all of that. So once again, thank you all so, so much. I love you all and I look forward to whatever we're going to do next. But don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will see you guys very, very soon.